Hi guys, this is Akhla Kamid. Welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, I'm not going to spend too much time, uh, you know, uh, talking about, uh, go, you know, going on and on. But I'm just going to get straight to the point here. Now, uh, this uh, technique that I'm, that I'm about to show you, it saved me a hell of a lot of a time editing, you know. Uh, I mean, a lot of time. It saved a lot of time. Now, some of you might actually know this already. If you do, you're probably thinking it's no big deal because you already knew. If that's the case, I do apologize. But for those of you who are new to DaVinci Resolve, let me show you this because, because guys, you know, it saved me a lot of time so what is this feature so so let's just say supposing you drag your video into here just as i i've done so uh, let me just show you so let's just say uh, for example uh, i'm gonna drag this video in here now you can see it's actually quite a long video now what many of us tend to do is, I mean, I'm actually guilty of this because I used to do it. Uh, so what we did do is we'd um, go onto the razor blade here. Let's just say if you want to uh, cut some uh, stuff out from here. We tend to take the razor blade, we'd uh, cut it up, up to the point where where you want the cut to stop and then we'll put another cut there. And then what we do is we'll take uh, maybe the arrow key we'll uh, select that piece, we'll right click, we'll uh, delete uh, selected and, and then what we'll do is we'll take this and then join it back up again. Can you see how time consuming that is? So let, let me just show you that again. So we'll do that, take the razor blade to the point where we want the chop to end and then take this and then all we'll, then what we'll do is we'll uh, cut that and then join again. Again, you can see you get you guys get the idea. You can see how uh, time consuming this is, and you know it can take forever and ever. And you know before you know it, before you know it, you know your time is actually wasted. You know you're spending it about an hour doing this, just chopping it up, deleting it, and you know it's just very time consuming, guys. So let me just show you. Let me just show you a very. Uh, a handy feature and like i say guys it saved me a hell of a lot of time so let's just um, get just get rid of this and let's uh, just start again so this is the easy way how i do it okay so uh, let's do this guys so what we do do is so let me just show you um now all i'm basically gonna do is now watch what i do so let's just say i put my marker here and i don't want uh, things on this side and I, uh, and I just say like I want to keep, uh, like, let, let me just put my marker here. Let's just say I want to keep this side of the timeline and I want to get rid of uh, everything on the right hand side. So what do I do? I press Q, Q on the keyboard and watch what happens. So everything on this side has been deleted. And if I press W on the keyboard, watch what happens. So everything that was on the right side is being deleted. Now, you're probably thinking, yeah, but what about if I just want to get cert rid of certain parts? Well, there's a solution for that. So let me show you. All I'm going to do is press C for cut. So let's just say I don't want, uh, I, I don't, I'm going to get rid of a certain part of a video. Then to the point where I want to end that cut. So I put it there and press C. Now, can you see it's put uh, cuts on both sides? Then what I do is, I uh, press, uh, if I want to get rid of this, I'll press the uh, c um, the C button to get rid of, or actually the delete button, sorry. So I press the delete. Uh, and once that's deleted, uh, what I'll do is, I'll uh, actually, what I'll do is, I'll press the cut instead. So let's just press C. Um, let's just say I press C right now, uh, delete, sorry. So I press the delete, and then what I want to do is I want to get uh, rid of this, so I press the delete. Can you see it's joined it back up? So let's, let me just show you that again. So I put a cut here, C, and then here, C, and I want to get rid of this part of the video. So what I'll do is I'll press, uh, I'll keep the bit highlighted, press uh, I'll press delete and there can you see it's joined it back up for me let me show you that again C for a cut C for cut and I'll put it on here and I'll press D for delete 
And can you see he's joined it back up? And the other feature I showed you before was uh, everything on this side, everything on the uh, left side, I'll press the Q and it gets rid of it. Now let me undo that. If I want to get rid of anything on the right side, I'll press the W and everything on the right side's been deleted. So you guys get the idea, okay? So let me just uh, just get rid of the whole thing and let me show you how quick the editing can be, okay? So I'm going to press cut here. Let's see, uh, from here and here, I don't want to uh, put this in the video. So I'll put a C there for cut, C here for cut. And then I'm going to press delete and it joins automatically. Again, everything on the uh, left side, I'll press the Q. And everything on the right side's been deleted. I want to uh, get rid of everything on the right hand side. I press the W, and there everything on the right side's been W uh, deleted. Now you see, guys. Do you guys get the idea now? And now the way to check this is um, if we go onto the uh, if we go onto the let's just say uh, trim, and we'll go onto the ripple. Can you see? Here, so I've set my uh, start to play head to Q, end to play head W. So if you want to add it, so the shortcuts that I showed you, if you do want to add that, what we'll do is we'll go into DaVinci uh, Da Vinci Resolve, we'll go into keyboard customizations, and then what we'll do is we'll go on to trim, and then go on to ripple here. And there, can you see I've set the W and Q? You can do the same. You don't have to set it as Q and W. But whatever your preference is, that will help you get the uh, shortcut effect, which I've done. So I hope that guy, I hope that makes sense, guys. If you are still a bit confused, don't hesitate to drop a comment below. I'll leave all my links at the bottom. But I hope this guy uh, tutorial did help you out, guys. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching.